Hello everyone, this is Rashida. Welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on data type. I will show you how to check the data type of a column, how to check the data type of all the columns of a data frame, selecting the columns based on a certain data type, and changing the data type of a column. Okay, so I already imported the pandas in the, uh, library, then I made this data frame where I have the name, age, score 1, score 2, and score 3. So, total of 5 columns. And you can see here this age column and score 2 column, they're stored as string values, though the values are numeric. Okay, this is the data frame, name, age, score 1, 2, and 3. This is very small data frame. All right, so first, let's check the data type of a column. So let's check the data type of this name column. Name and dot D type. Okay. Choose object. Then D A dot uh, age. Okay, not age. Let's do score one. A different data type. D type. This is 864. Okay, you can see the score one and score one is 864. Then, let's check the data type of all the columns of this data frame, okay? So, for this, we don't need to specify anything, just a df.dtype, okay? Oh, sorry. You have to add an s here, dtypes. So, when you check the data type of one single column, we used dtype. If we wanted, we could use dtypes as well. It works just fine. You can use dtypes or dtype. But when you use data frame, you want the data type of all the columns of the data frame, you have to use the dtypes. So you can see it shows the name, age, and score 2. Their data types are objects. And age and score 3, they are, no, not of age, score 1 and score 3 are age 64. Okay, now let's see how we can select the columns based on the data type. Okay, df dot select d types. Let's check int 64. Okay, so you can see when you do that, you get only the columns that has the data type of int 64. You can see score 1 and score 3, we have the data types of in 64 okay? Now, you can use a parameter called exclude in it, okay? If we use exclude in 64, it's going to return everything except in 64. Look, oh, sorry, here. So, it returned name, age, and score 2, all three columns that do not have the data type of int64. You can see that their data types are actually objects, name, age, and score 2. Okay, and now we will work on how to change the data type of a data frame, or of a column, single column. Now look, lots of time it happens the data frame comes some of the data look here age it looks like ints right but it's actually strings but it doesn't show here right but when you do some kind of mathematical operations you cannot do it with strings you need to change them to numeric values so let's see so age uh, df dot age okay but as type okay in 64. So this is what it is. So we will do df dot h. Okay. So we just use this as type. Now let's check df dot h dot d type. You can see it's in 64. But before the data type of page was object. So there is one more uh, time. There is one more way you can do that, that is using the apply method, okay? So we have another 
this one, score two column, that also looks like uh, in 64, but actually it's object. Okay, so df score two, df score two dot uh, apply pd dot to numeric. Okay, now just copy and check the data type. Dot d type, you can see it's also in 64. So we changed the data type of these two columns, age and score two. Okay, so today's video was a really short one. I hope you liked it or it was helpful for you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.